It's class break time at Cypress High School, and many students in the hall stop off at the school store to pick up a snack. What can I get you? One dollar. But for Jacob Vincent, it's time to stay in class. You see, Jacob is in the retail merchandising course at Cypress, and he's the manager of the Pirate Cove store. Green Monster. This school operation is a fundraising opportunity, which means it needs to make a profit. Jacob and his fellow students see that it does, as if their grades depend on it. But there's more to making grades and profits than moving a few dozen cups of soup and green monsters. Who right now has uh, the most money? A hundred grand? Yep. Now that's positive, right? Not in the red? That's where Jeremy Brooks' retail merchandising class gives these entrepreneur hopefuls a head start. You want, you're, right, you're about 9,000 short of going bankrupt. Yeah. Do you know that at that point then you have your credits gone and if you try to get a loan for a candy bar, they won't even give you a loan for a candy bar? No. Yeah. In this room, students move from candy sales to big business on a virtual world of supply and demand. Each student operates a store with a constant flow of customers, sales, and operating costs. Some would-be millionaires are not doing so well. First month, okay, so in the first month you're 15 down. Yeah. Probably not a great start, but you can still have, you have plenty of time to change that around. Yeah, I just... So what do you need to do? You need to find out what's selling and what isn't selling, I just right? put out like three things because what I mostly sell out is detergent and oh, cereal. So you sell out of these items? Yes, all the time. And then I just put like... So what should you do? I put like three shelves up with each right now and I'm like getting like money back. So you need to order more, have, have more stock, right? Yep. Because if you sell out popular items, all of a sudden people are doing what? They, They're going to your competitor because exactly. your competitor has it stocked, yeah. right? And so it's a good place to learn without having to pay for your mistakes. Uh, well, the nice thing about, about this particular course is, is they get a lot of hands-on. And so this, is, this course is tied in with our school store, which is the Pirate Cove. So they get to actually go out there and as they're learning these things, go apply them uh, to uh, the school store. And so my goal is that they, as, as they leave here, they understand if I were to start my own store, um, what would be my initial steps? You know, that's the first thing, because too often it's just like, well, maybe it's just the everyday management. No, there's a lot of things that you need to figure out before you even open your doors. It's only virtual money, but David Winger has already made $200,000 profit in his marketplace. That taste of success, combined with an appetite for real-world experience, may catapult these students into successful careers. I really like coming up with creative new ideas to communicate a product or service, whatever you're trying to offer to a, uh, the customers and, or whoever you're trying to reach. I'm recently doing a research project on creative marketing. That's really what I'm into is the creative side of marketing, coming up with new ideas, the unique stuff.